You got saved again. You got triples there. <laughs> Hey, it's HJ. And Roman. Do and I have sauce on my face? I was just about to ask you that. No. Do well, I? you just ate spaghetti. Did I? No. Alright, so today we're coming to bring you. That's where you finish the sentence. Relationship advice. Relationship advice. Dating tips. Dating tips. That's what it was. <laughs> <laughs> right when you said that too, I was like, no, dating tips. Dating tips. Dating tips from humans that Dated survived before. dating and got married. So. Yep. It'll work. Maybe. Unless you're weird. <laughs> I don't know. You're pretty <laughs> Then weird. nobody can help you. <laughs> Should we do category? Should we just like give them some good just stuff? Just give them some good stuff. All right. Go first. Lead, man. Lead on. Always send me the heart. I thought, I thought this was the kissy face one and I was going to be like, none of this yet. Look. Just be yourself. Be yourself. Because. Name that movie. <laughs> Aladdin. Be yourself because at the end of the day, when you've been together for like six months, you gotta stop faking it <laughs> sometime. It can't last forever. If you get married, your, your true self is gonna come out sometime. Just be yourself. And you don't want them to be thinking, what the heck just happened to me? I just got blindsided. Yep. I was just weird from the beginning. I just kept it real, real and weird. Yeah. Okay. Second piece of advice would have to be see their baby pictures on the first date so you know Listen how your kids to how they pray. That's a better one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't break out the baby pictures on the first date. Don't break out the tongues. In the prayer and in <laughs> the relationship. The physical. Make sure that they're praying people and that they read their Bible. Ask them biblical questions. Whenever we were just friends talking on the phone when I lived in Houston, and if you haven't heard our story of how we met on Twitter in completely different states, I'll put that link below the video here or something. Check that out after this. But I remember he asked me over the phone, he's like, explain the gospel to me. And that was like crazy to me because I came from Texas, the Bible Belt, and everybody there is a Christian. Everybody's moms, grandmas, uncles, somebody, everybody's a Christian, quote, quote. And so you don't really question it. You never really think to question it. And so whenever he said, explain the gospel to me, I got kind of clammy, like, oh, but I did it. It was just like, oh, nobody's ever asked me that before. It was, it was actually right. kind of refreshing. It was like, dang, he really it was all right. cares about the things of the Lord. It was all right. Whatever. I could use some work. I gave it to you. You got saved again. You got triples there. <laughs> it's got slain in the spirit. You're cute. <clears throat> Just take her <clears throat> standing. You can't take my tip. Is that about to be your tip? Okay, go, go. You can have it. You can wow. have it. You can have it. Go she for it. You stole my whole thunder. <laughs> if you're dating someone, you have to take them swimming so you could see what's beneath all that yeah. makeup. Actually, the first time I ever came to California and met your family and <clears> you, <throat> we went swimming. Hmm. Wonder why. Was that strategic? Was that still cute, though? You gotta do what you gotta do. Yep. <laughs> and when you go swimming, you have to make sure she puts her head underwater. That that counts. She can't yep. just go in up to her neck and be like, ah. I don't want to get my hair wet. Your hair's getting wet. <laughs> Another tip for dating is women. This is, this is a good... Well, actually, guys, too. You know, whatever. Pay attention to how they treat other people. How do they treat the waiter or the waitress? How do they tip? Like... How do they treat their parents? How do they treat their friends? How do they treat, not just in situations where people are nice to you, right? Because it's easy to be nice to people who are nice to you. But what do they do when somebody cuts them off in traffic? What do they do when they're running late? What do they do when their waitress is a jerk to them? Or somebody flips them off in traffic? Like yeah, something crazy. Yeah, what do you do? Yeah, what do you do, you know? What do you do in that situation? That's actually what I was going to say. Put them in as many different situations as you can. Yeah. And then see how they react to things. Yeah, that's good. Real good. Bring them around to your friends too. Mm -hmm. Your good Christian friends that know what's up. Yeah, so they can gauge it. So they can judge them. Mm -hmm, pretty much. What's another tip, babe? Okay, here's a good dating tip. If your friends and your family bring up concerns, 
don't let your emotions for that person like but they're so hot or they're so handsome or they're just so amazing or your emotions that you've created for this person in like what a week three weeks two months override the fact that these people love you and they've known you for way longer and so if they're bringing up things like uh this is kind of a red flag this is kind of a red flag check it out don't go against that like take it to heart say pray about it with them talk about it more get counsel always be getting counsel always be getting counsel yes don't do the relationship by yourself no no have some older saints know what's going on so they can give you wisdom and stuff yeah. about it oh that just made me think of another point what i'll tell you okay so another point too is like be accountable about everything in your relationship Kind of goes what he says, but to take it further, let there be somebody who knows everything about your relationship. Every amazing thing that's happened, every amazing thing, but then also anytime that there's any sin in the relationship, and I'm not just talking about sexual sin, which that is true, but I'm talking about like, if you guys are arguing like crazy, or if he's super possessive over you and like, that's sketchy or you know if she like won't even let you look in another direction without freaking out like did you just look at her did you just look at her like that's crazy and I things can go on that are sinful in a relationship and you might feel embarrassed to tell anybody because you want people to think oh no this is a perfect relationship yeah. or you may have slipped up sinfully and you don't want to tell anyone because you're like oh no like we sinned but you have to like that's what the body of christ is for that's what accountability is for and that's honoring christ by being accountable in your relationship don't just yeah yeah yep do that hillary talks a lot more than me he men just get to the point they're like all right here's what you need to know boom 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 all right you got it we're done it's all good here man and i'm like okay here's what you need to know point a point b point three what i don't know <laughs> see what happens yeah, that's <clears throat> cute. Let, let the girls talk. That's a good dating tip. Just let us go for it. Here's a universal dating tip. Ask questions about them. Don't just talk about yourself the whole time. That's good. That's it. That's good. I don't need a big all long that's description. Good. Just yeah. ask them about themselves. That's true. That's true. All right, so I hope you enjoyed these dating tips. If you are dating, take this to heart. And yeah, we love you. Take we it to care brain for too. you. Take it all, just like wash yourself and everything we just said. It's good stuff. We love you. And put some um, ideas in the comment section if you want a dating tips part two, a relationship advice, a marriage advice, like some super fun tips and advice. We would love to do that. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and make sure to comment below. And yeah, we love you guys. Share it on your page. Share, subscribe. I post two times a week and sometimes this cutie gets to be in them. Yeah, we love you. <laughs>